forgetting to answer this one first. It's a two-part question. Uh, part one states, Morristown has been a, it has seen its moderate and low-income rental opportunities decrease while development of luxury housing is at an all-time high. The average worker can no longer afford to live in Morristown. How would you erase this trend and maintain Morristown's neighborhoods for everyone? And what is your vision to address affordable housing? And sorry, I have my, my son in here. We are not told the truth about affordable housing and is why there is none. The location of housing and transportation options is supported dramatically affected the affordability. We need to come out with more information about fair, fair, fair housing that is equal for the minorities uh, and, and the finances of the people. Uh, we allow to compact development and utilize green design constructions as well create new options for transportation. We need to protect the environment while creating more affordable housing, encourage building and raise of housing to meet the needs of all families, from young professionals to empty nester, and eventually the early, the early, the old people, the older people. Okay, Mr. Darty. So far, um, Morristown has built 156 affordables, and then they're on on track to build 245. I want to thank Habitat uh, for Humanity and Homeless Solutions. They did 67. Um, we built more affordable housing than 20 years of mayors in 10 years, five times as much. Uh, you know, you, you, people say there's no affordable housing. The Morristown Housing Authority is about to invest $125 million in brick and mortar to redo all of the housing. Uh, including the senior buildings. There's a lot going on in Morristown. Um, I think there's a misconception when you see a new building go up, there, there's no affordable housing. There's affordable housing component to every development that goes up in Morristown. And that's why we're able to keep seniors in their homes aging because we've kept state uh, taxes stable and we've created five times as much affordable housing than four mayors. Thank you. You're talking about Mount Laura and the town should add to the list of community and regional organization affirmative marketing plan that nobody knows what happened to my Laura. When they, they when these developers uh, had the 20% of the quote for my Laura, nobody knows when the raffle is, it's a big secret. So no, the resident of the Morris town don't get the my Laura apartment once in a blue moon. We have a lot of people coming from Newark living in, in different or these places and we don't know why. Okay, next question, Mr. Dougherty, you go first. And the question asks, now that the pandemic is winding down, protections will be lifted that have prevented evictions and towns are bracing for a wave of evictions of tenants. How would you protect tenants without overburdening landlords? Two, two answers to my time that I have. One is if Ms. Esperanza Field knows the law, she would know that when you put out affordable housing, we don't do it. You hire a third party and it goes to three counties. We don't have the right to just go to Morristown. There's no Morristown preference. You have to go to three counties. And as far as the moratorium and eviction, we, we announced Monday night that we are using the proceeds from uh, the M station to start a rent assistant program to, to help offset evictions. We know it's one of the top three things that is going to affect all of New Jersey, not just Morristown, all of New Jersey when the moratorium on uh, rents, not paying your rent and you can't get evicted is going to stop. So we are already preparing for it. We know that it's going to be a big push in Morristown and legal is working on it. We'll have funds to help people to stave off being evicted. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Boris Field. We should have a trust fund available already for these things because we had to, we have been prepared for this since the pandemic the pandemic started in January. We need to work with the government. I will get in the phone and call the government, the, the, the federal government, and everybody, private investors and nonprofit organizations to get together a plan 
to help these people in need? <clears throat> no, I can't rebut, right? Um, Bubsy, yes, you can because you're okay. the first. Person. Thank yes, thank you. Um, <laughs> Thirty seconds. Yes, we have uh, already put in place an affordable housing trust fund with two point five million in it. We were the first out of uh, all the mayors in Marstown to create the first affordable housing plan and the first affordable housing trust fund. So the fund is created. It's there. Now it's just guiding it to set it up legally how we're going to help people. So when Ms. Esperanza Field says we should have done it already, we have. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Next question. And Ms.